I was actually screaming like, oh my God. <laughs> Everything is getting a little bit muddy. Hey, hey look at that, you've done really well there. Good morning and welcome back to another video. Uh, we're kicking this one off with some mechanical issues. We were meant to be heading to Steep Point today and I don't think we will be now. Uh, seems like the clutch has gone in the car, so we're going to be extending our stay in Kiabari, unfortunately. We are so lucky. The mechanic in town has done us a massive favour. New clutch and new flywheel and everything. Hopefully get it done by the end of the week and um, fingers crossed we'll be good to go. Might even get a couple nights at Steep Point still. Yeah, I think the guy who's doing it is doing us a massive favour, which we're really appreciative of because we thought it was going to be about two weeks. That's what we originally got quoted. And yeah, he's going to get a start on it this afternoon. I don't know, maybe it's good karma. Maybe it's just because we're nice people. Who knows? So we just set up at the caravan park. Well, semi set up. We're more just trying to get everything out of the car we may need for the next few days because we don't really know how long it's going to be in for making sure we have our electric skateboards because that is going to be our only means of transport. Yeah, oh, well, at least we get to do some cruising around. We do have a nice view as well, which is even better. So, got to think positive on a day like today. Yeah. I'm just very thankful that we're stuck here and not somewhere else in the middle of nowhere. So, yeah, that's all right. Could be worse. Bye, baby. Come back better. <laughs> Wasn't talking to you, I was talking to <laughs> Yeah, I'm surprised no one's come up to us and told us about the smell of clutch because it is everywhere. <laughs> yeah. It's probably in all the seat covers and everything. Yeah. It stinks. So, yeah, if you're ever wondering if your clutch is on its way out, you'll smell it. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye, Terry. Yeah. back. And... I only stalled it twice taking off. Did you actually? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Uh, so everything out of the god box is out in the seat. So uh, look out for that. I don't think there's <laughs> anything too incriminating in there. Um, but yeah, no, it feels completely different. The clutch is about this far from the floor now. So I'm going to be stalling it lots over the next <laughs> few weeks. And we're even going to take off this afternoon and start making our way to Steep Point and hopefully get two nights there still. I did just have a quick look on the National Park website and there seems to be a few campsites still available for an extra night if we want to extend. So that's good news. We'll see how we go and check the weather and stuff. We've managed to drive about 120 k's up the road just to give us a bit of a head start for the morning. And so far so good, clutch feels fantastic. So it's great to be back moving on the road again. And I don't know, you feel almost naked when you don't have a car for a few days. It's just a strange feeling. But we have got our work cut out for us tonight. We are gonna pack the car, organize the caravan, and yeah, store it at Hamlin Station tomorrow morning and head out to Steep Point. Hopefully be there from like about one o'clock or so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, get moving here, head to the Overland Roadhouse, top up with fuel, drop off the van, and then boogie straight out to Steep Point. Yeah, so we managed to get three nights out there, and yeah, I'm just so excited for some fishing and yeah, relaxing on the beach. Happy steep point day <laughs> and it's raining. Fabulous. We are not having a very good run here. <laughs> it's like steep point doesn't even want us to go out there. So we've dropped the caravan off at Hamlin station here, locked everything up and I think we're loaded, ready to go. We had a great run for the first half an hour following the freshly graded road. Uh, but now we've had to drop the tire pressures down to 30 in the back, 28 in the front, just to make it a little bit more smoother as the corrugations are picking up. So as we've got two hours and eight minutes left, it's not too bad the road actually. But we just don't know really what to expect because last time we were out here it was COVID times and we were like the only ones out here. So obviously the road wasn't too bad back then. We've been cruising for about an hour and a half and we're finally at the National Park Station, ready to cross into the National Park. Um, good thing to do always is to just have a quick look around the car every hour or so, just to make sure everything's all good. Um, we've had some pretty rough corrugations the last little bit, so 
check all your wheel nuts and make sure they're all there because the last thing you want to do is uh, yeah lose something out here because it's a long way to get some good help and because of that little bit of rain everything is getting a little bit muddy which is a shame because it's going to be a long time before we can wash it oh well <laughs> that's horrible ah <laughs> oh, oh, damn and i'll have to make sure i get in uh, clean off the lights as well drafter yeah lovely One really good thing to note, use channel 12 for traffic communication on Steep Point and Dirk Hartog Island. Even though it's a bit rainy and drizzly today, we are just thankful that it's not really windy. So we can still like put the awning out, set the tent up, and um, yeah, just hang around the camp if we need to. But I feel like we'll be fishing still this afternoon. That's, oh yeah. That's one thing that we just loved about Steep Point last time was the fishing was amazing. Now we didn't want to jinx it too much and not pack any food for dinners, so we still do have a chicken option, but if we catch fish, that'll be going out the window straight away. <laughs> Alrighty, we've made it to our site, nearly three hours of driving, and most of it was quite corrugated, but we made it. Last time we're here, we're at Kells 1, this time we're at Kells 2, and both sites are absolutely beautiful. And you've got this awesome little rock shelf here, which is amazing to fish off. How good is this? Look how glassy that water is. We we got out of the car and we already seen like a pot of dolphins as well. That was wicked. So we're onto one here. We finally got here and we can finally enjoy it. It didn't take us long to get all set up. Got the tent, everything organized and we've got the fishing gear ready and we're gonna go try our luck for a bit of a fish. So if we catch anything, we'll let you know. First fish. Well, it didn't take long. We've been out here all of about, I don't know, four minutes and we're already on. So let's hope we can get uh, mummy or daddy. Yeah, I reckon that one's going to get thrown back. But that's all right, at least they're out there. Yeah, absolutely. So, so far we've got one blue spotted emperor, a couple of butterfish and a heap of snags. There is so many fish out here, we just keep losing our baits like that. I think the fish keep taking us under big rocks and reefs as well. But it is really good fun. Now that is definitely size. Real beauty. That's a decent fight too. That's decent. Like it. <laughs> Bryce's turn for a decent one. Yeah, it's a blue yeah. bone, I reckon. Yeah, or, or tusk fish. fish. Check him out. Might not be size, but it's just cool to catch different things. Yeah. You get some cool fish out here. Compared to SA anyway. Yeah. <laughs> we get trumpeters and whiting. Oh, I don't forget garfish. Oh, and garfish. Oh yeah, here you go. Tusk fish. Has to be 400. Yeah, he's not quite Back he goes. Good morning. After a little bit of a rough night in the tent, uh, the rain started to get us. We were getting a little bit of water inside the tent, which was a bit annoying. And we've woken up to a pretty nice day. It's still pretty overcast, pretty cloudy. Got some bacon and we'll cook some eggs up and I'm gonna do a bacon and cheese toasty and that's gonna be breakfast this morning. Now that the sun's come out, how stunning does it look out there? The water is so blue. Yeah, so we're gonna head over to the point, and um, little steep point. There's a couple little stops along the way that we might go check out, and then uh, we'll get our photo with the sign again. So if you don't know, steep point is actually the most western part of Australia, and there's a bit of a sign and stuff there, some photo opportunities overlooking the cliffs, and it's really pretty. We're here, we've made it to the most westerly point of Australia, Steep Point. Woohoo! We've made it, we're here. 
It's a bit of a rough drive out here. Three hours or probably about three and a half hours of corrugations of sand. Yeah, and just fun. Yeah, no, it is good fun. I I enjoy it. Chelsea's not a great passenger. No, it makes me feel car sick <laughs> more than anything. But so. yeah, we're out here again and it's chilly and it's overcast, but it's just nice to be out here. Time to crack a beer, I reckon. And we did see some whales in the water on the way out, so that was really cool. And I honestly do not know why people have to put their stickers on shit and engrave it because it's just just wrecks it i just don't understand so if you know any of these people tell them they're clowns and then the other side at least there's no stickers on the side but people have still ruined it by trying to engrave their initials and stuff yeah just don't understand why people have to try and ruin these cool spots with put vandalizing them and putting rubbish all over them so we're just cooking up the fish that we caught yesterday and we're going to make some fish wraps for lunch. Your beauty. All right, bets are on again. Will Chelsea ruin the wrap? No, I don't think I've ever filled it. <laughs> I think it's just my wrapping skills aren't up to scratch. Hey, hey look at that. You've done really well there. A plus. Check this out. Look what Chelsea just snagged. I don't even know how I got that. Look Holy that. crap. I was actually screaming like, oh my God. <laughs> Cause I couldn't lift it. It was so heavy. Yeah, wow, that's oh the one. Oh my God. Check him out. Was he some kind of emperor? Black spotted something maybe? That's right. We'll get back to you with what it is and uh, we'll tell you if we're keeping Jesus. it. All right, so we've come to the conclusion he's a sweet lip and they've got to be 300 mil. So and he's well and truly He's staying mil. with us, isn't oh he? God. You ripper. I like it. A quick search on Wreckfish West because we've got no idea what fish are. Come up with that. Check out what we've caught. We've just spent the last two and a half hours out on this rock over here. We've seen some sharks, some dolphins, and we've caught this. One sweet lip, which of course Chelsea caught. 500 mil, three Spangled Emperors, all about 320, a Chinaman and a West Australian Butterfish, we think. Um, so yeah, we've done really well. The Emperors, they've got to be 280 mil as well. So just keep that in mind. Alrighty, we've got night two. We're gonna do a nice little chicken curry just cause it's easy, quick and not a lot of dishes either. So makes for a treat when we're out in the tent and swag. Usually we'd make our own curry sauce up with all our Indian spices, but I cannot be bothered doing that while we're away with the tent. So we've got our Sharwoods $3 little container of curry and it's delicious. So yeah, we always use this one and yeah, it's really good. Yeah, sometimes when you're doing this, simple, quick is way better than trying to mess around with anything else. Just quick, easy, and on your way. And we did fill up on fish for lunch, so this is a very late dinner. It's about seven o'clock. We usually eat it by about six o'clock. Oh, about 5.30. <laughs> Chelsea goes, I'm hungry at 5.30. <laughs> yeah, showered in bed by seven o'clock. Now, I probably shouldn't have uh, mixed it all up together because that's what I normally do stir it all together and make it look gross yeah but pretty good so far and leftover wraps from lunch that we're gonna use as naan bread makeshift naan well i leave behind broken and crumbled signs hiding all my roads to
another morning out on the rocks doing a bit more fishing and I've just got on to what I think is a golden trevally. He's a big boy. He's well and truly size. And he's a big boy too. Check that out. Calm down, calm down. I was a bit scared because there's so many big rocks and reefs down here. Oh, I know. Woohoo! We just saw a heap of bait fish jumping around in the water and I think I was just in the right place at the right time and he was chasing them. We are going to be shooting off a day early because we looked at the forecast tomorrow and it's going to turn to absolute rubbish. Northwesterlies of like 45 kilometers an hour. So that's going to just be punching straight in. So yeah, we're going to play it safe and get out of here. And there's like another five to 10 mil of rain for tomorrow as well, which I won't be too comfortable in the tent, I don't think. There has been some big sharks cruising around. Bryce reckons it's a black tip. Yeah, I'm not sure what it is, but They're big. all I know is it just took whatever I had on the line and ran me out a good 150 metres. Lucky you're getting all your braid back. Yeah. I thought you were done for the day. <laughs> well, that's a wrap for Steep Point. We managed to finally get out here and we had to cut it short too because of the weather, but that's all right. If you are enjoying them, you know what to do. Like, subscribe and give us a thumbs up. And we'll see you next week when we head into Denham. Catch you later.